So it's not very often that I get to combine my love of arts and my love of laughing at silly religious people, but the day has finally come. A photograph taken by the American artist Andres Serrano was recently attacked in Avignon, France. What was the photograph, I hear you ask? Piss Christ. <laughs> Now before we get to the attack, the brutal assault of this work of art, I think I should probably give you all <coughs> a brief history of Peace Christ. Peace Christ is a 1987 photograph by artist and photographer Andres Serrano. It depicts a small plastic crucifix submerged in a glass of the artist's urine. The piece was a winner of the Southeastern Center for Contemporary Arts Awards in the Visual Arts Competition, which is sponsored in part by the National Endowment for the Arts, a United States government agency that offers support and funding for artistic projects. Basically, in 1987, this guy, Andres Serrano, got a little plastic crucifix, put it in a, in a glass, and then just uh, uh, pissed on it. He pissed in the glass, filled the glass to the top, and then shone some lights through it and took a picture. It was part of a series of photographs taken by Andres Serrano in which he took little plastic statuettes of classical objects and submerged them in various fluids such as milk and blood and obviously in this case urine. Now it's easy to think of Piss Christ as basically just being like ha 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 Christianity I took your god and I pissed on him. Ha 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 does that feel? Pretty shit probably. And to be quite honest I think it is pretty clear that that probably entered into the artist's mind to some extent. The thought must have gone through his mind that this is probably going to piss some people off. Now obviously he has the right to do that, but if it was just being offensive for the sake of being offensive, it would be a pretty unsophisticated piece of art. However, the official reasoning behind Piss Christ was that it was a criticism of contemporary culture's treatment of Christ. It was a wagging finger in the face of the commercialization of Christianity and Christian iconography. Apparently he also defended his photograph as a criticism of the quote, billion dollar Christ for profit industry and a quote, condemnation of those who abuse the teachings of Christ for their own ignoble ends. Which I totally get. As you are all probably aware, I'm an atheist. I'm not a Christian, I'm not part of Christianity, so I don't get personally offended by the crass commercialization of religion and, in this case, Christianity. I don't really care. Having said that, I do see it a lot. And I can see how a sincere Christian probably would get pretty frustrated with the constant use of Jesus and Christianity and the Christian message and Christian iconography in general for profit. So I get it, I get the meaning behind Piss Christ. It obviously has shock value that Andres Serrano obviously was aware of, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if it wasn't partially made with the intent to shock people, but I do get the official reasoning that Andres Serrano gives for the motivation behind making Piss Christ. But enough of what I think, what did other people think? Well, when it was exhibited in 1989, a lot of people, mainly Christians, surprise surprise, didn't like it. United States Republican Senator Jesse Helms said that Andres Serrano was, quote, not an artist, he's a jerk. A lot of people also said that it violated separation of church and state because Andres Serrano received $15,000 for the work, part of it from the tax-funded National Endowment for Arts. And this started the whole debate about public funding of art. Generally, a lot of people really didn't like it. But hang on a second, what did the art critics think? Lucy R. Lippard argued that Piss Christ had some significant formal value. If you don't know, the formal value of an art piece is its artistic value of its form, i.e. how it was made, what it looks like, that kind of thing. It's basically the form of it, how it looks. Not any political, sociological, cultural, religious meaning behind it, just the face value, how the thing is. And Lucy R. Lippard believes that Piss Christ was actually just a genuinely good piece of art. She writes that the work is, quote, a darkly beautiful photographic image, the small wood and plastic crucifix becomes virtually monumental as it floats photographically enlarged in a deep rosy glow that is both ominous and glorious. So that refers to just the look of Piss Christ. What do people think about the purported meaning behind Piss Christ? Well, Sister Wendy Beckett, an art critic and a Catholic nun, said that she didn't think it was blasphemous. She regarded it as a statement on, quote, what we have done to Christ. Again, the idea that it's a criticism of the commercialized nature of Christian uh, iconography and Christianity in general. The way that society now uses religion and spirituality almost as a commodity. I agree with both of those gals. I agree with Lucy R. Lippard. I do think that Piss Christ is kind of a nice image. Nice, rich, warm colors from the, uh, from the piss. It is, from an entirely visual perspective, kind of a nice photograph. And like I said before, I also get the purported meaning behind the motivation for Piss Christ. Again, it is apparently a criticism of the commercialization of Christ 
and Christianity in general in contemporary culture. Okay, so you now know everything there is to know about Piss Christ, except for what happened about five days ago in Avignon, France. Reading from a recent Guardian.co.uk article entitled Attack on Blasphemous Artwork Fires Debate on Role of Religion in France, <coughs> the photograph has been shown in France several times without incident. For four months, it has hung in the exhibition I Believe in Miracles to mark the ten years of art dealer Yvonne Lambert's personal collection in his 18th century mansion gallery in Avignon. I sound like such a twat saying Avignon. Fuck. Oh well, carrying on. The show is due to end next month, but two weeks ago a concerted protest campaign began. Civitas, a lobby group that says it aims to re-Christianize France, launched an online petition and mobilized other fundamentalist groups. The staunchly conservative Archbishop of Vaucluse, Jean-Pierre Catanoz, fuck, called Piss Christ odious and said he wanted this trash taken off the gallery walls. Last week, the gallery complained of extremist harassment by fundamentalist Christian groups who wanted the work banned in France. Lambert's one of France's best known art dealers. Oh, he's French. It's probably not Lambert then. It's probably... Lambert. Okay, Lambert from now on. Lambert, one of France's best known art dealers, complained he was being persecuted by extremists who had sent him tens of thousands of complaint emails and bombarded the museum with spam. He likened the atmosphere to a return to the Middle Ages. On Saturday, around 1,000 Christian protesters marched through Avignon to the gallery. The protest group included a regional councillor for the extreme right Front National, which recently scored well in the Vaucluse area in local elections. The gallery immediately stepped up security, putting plexiglass in front of the photograph and a signing two gallery guards to stand in front of it. But on Palm Sunday morning, four people in sunglasses aged between 18 and 25 entered the exhibition just after it opened at 11 a.m. One took a hammer out of his sock and threatened the guards with it. A guard grabbed another man around the waist, but within seconds, the group managed to take a hammer to the plexiglass screen and slashed the photograph with another sharp object, thought to be a screwdriver or an ice pick. They also smashed another work which showed the hands of a meditating nun. So basically, some angry, froggy Christians who took offense to their sevier being submerged in an American man's piss got so pissed off that they attacked and damaged beyond repair a copy of the work. So they basically missed the point, didn't get it at all, and then they thought that they were justified in attacking it. Whatever. What did I think about this incident? Well, initially I was like, <laughs> then I was like, bastards. And then I was like, eh, it's not really that big a deal. I think all of us in the atheist community know that fundamentally, Bitches be crazy. There are always going to be stupid people out there who don't get something, who don't understand why something happened, and just react in the stupidest, most asinine possible way. Obviously, there were Christians out there who did get the reasoning behind Piss Christ. And obviously, there were those who weren't aware of it or just rejected it and thought that this was just a straight up insult to Christianity, veiled in some sort of pseudo intellectual uh, political message. That's fine, they can believe that. But the people who actually attacked this, the people who think that this should be banned because it's so offensive, Fuck you. Not to sound like a broken record here, but there is something called freedom of speech. And it's not like this is even the most offensive thing that's protected by free speech. As far as I'm concerned, there is a pretty good argument to be made that Andres Serrano was legitimately trying to make a point and wasn't just trying to offend people. But all of that aside, he does fundamentally have the right to do that anyway. Also, the timing of this incident is pretty interesting. Remember, Piss Christ was originally exhibited in 1989. And now in 2011, a group called Civitas want to re-Christianize France. They start a protest about this this being shown, even though it's been shown several times in France without incident, and then some douchebags think that they can just attack the thing like that'll do any good at all over two decades after it was originally exhibited. And just now, people are again getting pissed off at it, after a group that is trying to re-Christianize France gets pissy about it. Pun definitely intended. This entire thing just seems very similar to other incidents that happened around the world. Need I say more? Anyway, I just thought that was something that was pretty interesting. I thought you might be entertained by that. In summation, I like Piss Christ. I think it's a pretty good piece of art visually anyway, but I also do agree with the message behind it if Andres Serrano is to be believed. Then, over 20 years after it was originally exhibited, people are still being twats about it. Like I said, bitches be crazy.